All right, y'all, so this is my 24 week baby bump update. Baby, am I getting bigger? Yeah. Overnight, huh? I say so. <laughs> I'm in love, love with you Yeah, I'm in love, love with you What's up y'all? It's your girl Michaela, and I'm here with my boyfriend Yak Yeah! And today I'm super excited because we are officially six months pregnant I'm 24 weeks pregnant, you guys. I'm so excited. And I wanted to share this milestone with you guys because you guys have been wanting a baby bump update. <laughs> Let me just show y'all again. She got a, so last time I seen her, she was kind of, she still kind of still had her shape, but now I feel like she's really starting to pop okay. out. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I told her, I said, by the time seven or eight months come, she'll really have that full pregnancy look. More than more than not, but the last time y'all seen her, she wasn't this this big. I feel like it happened like overnight. Yeah, like I feel like it just grew out of nowhere. Yeah. So first trimester, I was super exhausted, so sick, could not get out of bed, crazy mood swings. I feel like the second trimester, I still been really well. In the beginning, I was really energetic, but now I'm tired again. Probably because we're getting closer to the third trimester. Yeah. The baby's been so active. Hasn't she? Yeah, she only talked to daddy though. It's weird. When I put my hand on my stomach, the baby does not kick for me. But the moment the baby hears his voice or he puts his hand on my stomach, the baby kicks like crazy. And I cannot make this up, y'all. So I feel like... She's definitely a daddy's girl already. Facts. For those of you who hear us say she and have not watched our gender reveal, stop what you're doing and go check out our gender reveal. It was so nice and I hope you guys are enjoying this process like we are. The journey <laughs> is definitely a, definitely a tough one, a new one, it's a new experience. We also have these first time parent books. Mine says, we're pregnant, the first time dad's pregnancy handbook. I haven't read too much into it like I need to, but... I've been begging him to read his. I'm kind of going to wing it. I feel like any first-time dads, though, if you really have anxiety about it, scared about it, you should get this book. It was recommended, and I really wish he would have read it more. But this really is my Bible. Anytime that I feel like I'm going through new symptoms and changes, I read what to expect when you're expecting. And this book has been around for a while. Actually, his mom read this book when she was pregnant with him and she gifted me this. So I really do appreciate it. Like for instance, since I'm in my six month, there's a whole chapter about what I'm going through. Um, it says at week 24, um, the weight is one and one third pounds. The length is about 11 and a half inches. And then it talks about like all the symptoms and stuff like that. So how would you say you're feeling now compared to your first trimester? How would you say you're feeling now? I feel like in the first trimester, I felt like death. And I was like, I don't I don't know how I'm going to go through this. I'm dying. And then now I feel just really tired at first. In the, in the beginning, I was like, just I, I didn't know how I was going to make it. But now it's like easier. And I get so excited every time I feel the baby move. Yeah. Um, another thing, too, is I have this app called what to expect what to expect yes and i've definitely seen a big difference through all the child measures and basically through all, as the months went on we i went from rushing to get bags every day every morning for her to throw up and barely <laughs> eating i wanted to eat anything to 
I'm sleepy all day, so I just want to lay down. To now she's up moving around and she wants to eat food all day. We eat like six times a day. So I've seen it all. I feel like it's been a roller coaster emotionally, physically, not just for her, for me too. Like when, mm -hmm. when they say the dad, when the dad's close to the mom, he kind of gets those same experiences and symptoms is true. I've gained weight, I've ate everything inside, just like her. I feel like our snack choices have definitely changed just because of her. We've been eating all kind of different snacks that I've never thought I'd like. But I it's definitely a real thing. Things. It's definitely a real thing. The dad, if you, when you're close to the mom, y'all are pretty much doing stuff together all the time. It's going to rub off on you because, you know what I'm saying, y'all are connected. It's one family. So I will say my cravings have changed, so we might do a cravings part two video. But um, I really love this What to Expect app. For instance, it says right now the baby is as big as an ear of corn. It's so adorable. Um, it just talks about the same things as basically the book in a nutshell and they have like a little cool video of what the baby would look like right now in the womb. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who are expecting uh, what to expect when you're expecting and then what to expect app. They're very helpful. Thanks. And right now since our baby. I believe in Bible and built. <laughs> so. Since our baby can hear. He's been reading to the baby, and his grandmother actually bought the baby her first Bible. Big guy. It's a little, yeah. little play Bible. Well, it's not play Bible. No Bibles for play, but you get what I mean. It's like really cute for her. So. It's adorable. And we've just been reading to her all types of different stories. Some of them that he's been reading, I've been yeah. questioning a little bit. I ain't got those children's stories, bro. They be all over the place. I don't know. I be getting, up, getting up the children's stories off my phone. That's not the original Peter Pan or uh, the Three Little Pigs. It's like so different now compared to when I was a kid. Yeah, they be making up their own stories on the internet. So be careful, y'all. You don't want to accidentally <laughs> read them the wrong stories. But anyways, we're really excited to share this journey with you guys. Let us know down below if there's any videos you guys would like us to do pertaining to our pregnancy and our journey. Um, I'm just so excited. And... You know, we're going to be parents. Yeah. Y'all already know that, though. But it's just, I don't know. It's definitely a different feeling because it feels like so real. As she's gotten bigger, like, I feel like at first she got pregnant, we kind of knew. But it was just, like, a thing. It's kind of like a thing that we just, like, sat on the shelf. But now that she's gotten bigger and, like, six months actually occurred and more people are involved, not necessarily in our life, but, like, just as far as knowing, it feels like a, okay, like, it's hidden out. Like, okay, we're going to be mom and dad. I'm when he it. says that our pregnancy was something that we put on the shelf, it's not like, that's not a really bad. It's just, we lost a baby before and we knew how it felt to... That's not what I meant though. Oh, I meant well, like, what did you mean? That's not sorry, bad. Sorry, God. I meant like when you first got pregnant, like, it was like, um, like nothing really slowed up in the beginning. Like we were still pretty much... We were still on the go, yeah. but... I'm, I'm saying, I feel like now, since you since you got bigger, it's kind of like, oh, shit, we feel like, you, you, she even asked me the other day, she was like, babe, it feels weird that I'm finna be a mom, and I was like, you've been pregnant for eight months, I mean, six months, what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's just not clicking, because she, she, it wasn't registering in her mind, because she could feel her, but she wasn't seeing her body, like. I like, still oh, don't think it's officially gonna hit me until we have the baby. Like, I know I'm gonna be a mom, and I feel her. And I talk to her, all this stuff, but until I see her face to face. She gonna look like me. She's gonna push you off anyway. Whatever. Well, you guys, we actually have a doctor's appointment we have to get to. We're doing a 4D oh, anatomy so. scan, so pray for us. Um, this is where we get to see, you know, all the baby's organs, make sure she's healthy yeah. and okay. Um, we may vlog that, so yes. stay tuned. We love you guys so much. And we appreciate the support. Yeah! And remember, and remember. you're a boss. Beat it! There's nothing left to say, cause you don't care to change. Now you want me back, you do.